Today marks 70 years since Sir Edmund Hillary climbed Mount Everest with Sherpa Tenzing Norgan. Since Hillary, in his words, knocked the bastard off, more than 6,000 others have climbed the world's highest peak. Everest conquered, the New Zealander Edmund Hillary got his first mail and congratulatory telegrams from George Lowe, a fellow countryman and expedition colleague. Thus, 35 miles from Kathmandu, capital of Nepal, Hillary and Ten Singh were welcomed and congratulated by their fellow members of the expedition. You know, it's incredible to think that 70 years ago, they were up there near the summit of Mount Everest. They struck off along from the south summit along a knife-edged ridge with a two and a half kilometer drop into the western tomb of Nepal and a nearly four kilometer drop to the Kangshan of Tibet. father scratched his way up, pulling up on the rock, wedging his body into the, between the rock and the ice, and then moving up. The two of them moved up on over the last narrow ridge to the summit of the world's highest mountain. Hi, my name's Alexander Hillary, and I'm the General Manager of the Himalayan Trust and Syria's grandson. Um, and we're here in front of the Hillary Memorial Chawton, uh, just above Kumjong village in the Himalayas. And we've just been planting 70 trees um, for the 70th anniversary of the first ascent. So we're celebrating this anniversary with a Himalayan Trust trek through our projects in the Himalayas. Um, but here on the eve of the anniversary, uh, we're doing a number of things. We've had a program at the Kumjung School of dancing, cultural performances, and we've been planting trees. We've been visiting and opening a new dental clinic uh, at Kundi Hospital. My name is Peter Hillary and I'm speaking to you from just outside Kundi Hospital up here at 3,800 meters in the Himalayas at the foot of Mount Everest. I think Kundi Hospital provides much more sophisticated services now than it did when I was here. The hospital is better equipped but also there is a change in the type of disease which the hospital is dealing with. Well, it's been a great pleasure to inaugurate this dental clinic at Kundi Hospital. And just as Kundi Hospital, well, one of its most important roles is preventative. You know, it's helping people to be healthy so that they don't need all of the services of the hospital. That's the role of this dental clinic. Uh, to provide dental hygiene, dental education, and to try to make sure that people's dental health is greatly improved. There is going to be a dental clinic in Kundi Hospital that is devoted towards preventive care and educational care within the uh, school system. Because there is so much sugar in this community now, compared to early times, I'm talking about the 1960s again, 
when there was almost no sugar in the whole community. Now there is sugar available in the bazaar, there is sugar in sweets, there are sweet uh, lollies and things like that. And, and children get caries, that, dental caries, at a much younger age group than they ever did when I was working here. And there needs to be education about how not to use those sweets uh, or to reduce the need of the sweets and also to um, clean teeth and to generally look after their oral health. So I think the clinic will form a, perform a very useful function. The primary motivation for establishing the Sir Edmund Hillary Visitor Centre at Kunjum is because the Kunjum community and Kunjum school requested it. And as we looked at it, we realised it was an incredible opportunity to retain a piece of history, the first school building, and turn it into a type of interpretation centre. So we got in right behind it. We worked hard to come up with different design ideas for how this could be implemented inside. And of course, the all important part, which is fundraising to fund the whole operation. And I've got to say, on behalf of the Hillary family, my sister Sarah Hillary and myself, we are absolutely delighted with the way we've collaborated and the incredible result. And I hope it's a, a, a real benefit to the Kunjung community and Kunjung school for decades to come. The centre has been established with the funding support of Rolex Perpetual Planet, Himalayan Trust organisations from the United Kingdom, New Zealand and Nepal, the New Zealand Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade, Sir Edmund Hillary Stiftung of Germany, the Greater Himalayas Foundation, Sir Graham and Lady Ridley, Sir Edmund Hillary's son and daughter Peter and Sarah Hillary, and other generous donors. Let's show our appreciation to them all. Thank you. <laughs> I feel very privileged to be here today to celebrate the 70th anniversary of the ascent of Mount Everest by my father and Sir Edmund Hillary, and also to be here at the Mendefu in Namche Bazar for the inauguration and opening of the Tenzing Norgay Heritage Centre. And this idea was inspired to me many years ago when I thought I'd like to have a statue of Tenzing Norgay in Nepal somewhere. And there's no better place to have it than at the top of the hill in Namche Bazar where we have 360 degree views of the mountains and with Mount Everest right behind and with the support from the National Park, the people of Namche Bazar and all the Sherpa people and the government of Nepal, we were able to get permission to build the statue over here. And we saw this old museum over here that was dilapidated, uh, which was built in 1980 and uh, no one was visiting. So I decided that we need to upgrade this museum. and make it a place where people can come and learn about the Sherpa culture, the heritage of the Sherpas, the mountains, uh, the Himalayan mountains, the history of Everest, history of Tenzing Norgay, all the other mountaineers, and also about the environment. So with the help of uh, many of our sponsors and friends, 
we were able to build this uh, and have this finally able to inaugurate this museum today.